Ladies and gentlemen, this is the uh, 3300 series Ohio infant warming system. As you face the system on the left rear riser assembly, you will find a power on off switch for the mode's control box. Activation of the switch applies power to the unit, goes through a short modes check, and it lands in the manual mode, requiring the technician to set uh, a temperature for the machine. On the near side is the probe entrance point for the infant warmer which registers the uh, ch the child's temperature uh, and then next to that is a uh, illumination for the work center. Below the temperature of the patient you will find uh, illuminations for alarms and an alarm silence. The alarm silence does not clear the melt fault it just turns off the alarm. In the middle you will find a mode selection switch uh, that allows the user to transition from manual to servo mode. In the servo mode, uh, temperature is preset and is measured against the infant's uh, temperature and works accordingly. On the far end of the unit is a built-in APGARD test with the appropriate on, off, run, standby, and reset buttons. Hello, my name is Nicholas Castro and I'm with the Alamo College's Biomedical Engineering Project. All models of the Ometa infant warmer systems provide a controlled source of radiant heat for infants and pediatric patients. The control system uses a microprocessor and provides both manual and servo modes of operation. The model 3300 has an integrated bed for infants and is intended for procedures and long-term care in the nursery and L&D. Do not use the warmer in the presence of flammable anesthetics as a possible explosion hazard exists under these conditions. Do not touch the protective grill under the radiant heater or the top of the heater assembly. These surfaces may be hot and could result in burns. Disconnect power to the warmer and allow the heater rod to cool before cleaning to avoid the possibility of burns. Never oil or grease the equipment. Oils and grease oxidize readily in heat and in the presence of oxygen will burn violently. Vat coat is the only oxygen service lubricant recommended. Turn the unit on using the power toggle switch and the unit will perform a self-check upon activation. If the unit's lights and alarms sound for longer than 4 seconds, servicing may be needed. The IWS will default into the manual mode setting with an alarm tone chiming. Select a power setting with the up or down touch switches. The first 4 steps of the power levels will engage the preheat setting. Allow approximately 5 minutes for the unit to preheat before placing an infant onto the bed. While in manual mode, the unit will chime in 12 minute intervals to remind caretakers to monitor the patient's temperature. To silence the alarm, press the alarm silence switch. If the alarm silence switch is not pressed within 3 minutes, the alarm will switch to an alternate two-tone sound and it will depower the unit as a precaution. If long-term monitoring is needed, the IWS has a servo mode that uses a temperature probe to self-regulate the unit's heat output. Insert the jack end of the temperature probe into the unit via the input jack located on the left side of the control module as viewed from the front. Attach the patient end of the probe to the abdominal area of the patient, placing the metal side down. Next, attach the probe with the heat reflecting foil surface away from the patient. Press the mode switch to change from manual mode to servo mode. The indicator light will illuminate, indicating that the unit is in the servo setting. Once the desired patient temperature is set, the probe will regulate the power of the unit up or down to keep the patient within one degree of the patient temperature setting. Servo temperature can be set to a range between 35 and 37.5 degrees Celsius. Hello, my name is Jonathan Adams, and I am with the Biomed Engineering Technology Project, and I will be going over the troubleshooting of the Omaha, Ohio Infant Warmer System. So we have five commonly known alarms that are on this system, the 3300 system. The alarms is the pro failure, patient tip, system failure, heat is off, and check patient. Usually when check patient is the adhesive, the adhesive sticker is not on the baby correctly and it's not reading right, 
the heat is off, meaning that the relay on the if on the the warmer is activating. The system failure is when something has gone wrong on one of the circuits and is not heating, or is not reading, or is not doing anything. This uh, patient temp is where the baby is too hot or too cold and is not getting the right temperature for what it needs. And the pro failure is when it has a short, a crack, a break, or rust, or any natural uh, wear and tear if this is an old machine. So, it's de facto that is all the troubleshooting.